Hello. Students never like to wait. Or do you? Do you wait in the class for the teacher? Or it, it's a happy time. The teacher is not there. Yay! So, Kemcho. Because it's a Gujarat Literature Festival, so I have to, like, you know, I should speak in Gujarati. Kemcho Bada. Nasto Karine Agacho. Getting bored. Okay. I'm Praneta and a very warm welcome to you all at Gujarat Literature Festival 2016, 4th edition. Yes. So, Pranali. A lovely soul a lovely writer who wrote so many beautiful poems and shared them with all her friends and family members. Pranali's parents are here. And now that lovely star is somewhere in the sky smiling at all of us. Talking about Pranali, she had terminal liver disease and she got liver transplant at uh, global hospitals. She was a wonderful writer. She saw the world differently. And she shared her thoughts about the same with us. She won so many awards and scholarships. Her work was published in so many noteworthy publishers like Estrade, Navni, Just Read. And now, we have her friends and family to talk about her, to talk how wonderful she was through her poems. And we have here Ahan Kayastha. Heer Shah and Prachi Oza to recite wonderful poems written by Pranali. A very warm welcome to three of them. Please have a seat here. Yeah. Or you can sit there. So I'll hand over this microphone for the beautiful session by three lovely kids here. Thank you, ma'am. A very good afternoon to our esteemed guests, teachers, and dear friends. Today, I am Ankayasta. I am Kachi Oza. And I am Nisha. The students of Zyder School for Excellence, Bajalpur, shall present to you some of the wonderful poems by our late friend, Pranali Bhatt. June 14, 2003, Hyderabad. A four and a half year old girl from Ahmedabad, suffering from terminal stage liver disease, successfully underwent liver transplant at the global hospitals. Incidentally, her mother Dakshina happened to be the liver donor, marking a rare feat of adult to child liver transplantation in the state. Mrs. Dakshina, a physics lecturer, parted with a slice of her liver to give her little girl a rebirth. Mohammad Rela of King's College Hospital at London, who performed a complicated procedure on the child's head that the operation lasted almost 11 hours, during which the five-year-old baby suffered a cardiac arrest and the surgery had to be stopped for two hours. It was next to impossible to revive her after the cardiac arrest. He said the child had different attacks of jaundice since she was two and a half years old. She was suffering from cirrhosis of her liver in an advanced stage. Transplantation of her liver was considered the only way to save the child. 
this wonderful child of God, this fighter was the child whom we lovingly remember as Pranani. Affectionately called Pintu, but when lead, when the elemental symbol of lead is PB, Prana, Georgina, by us, her friends, and who always signed as Pranali Potter Bud, showing her undying love for the Harry Potter series. Pranali was a wonderful person and a poet at heart. She thoroughly enjoyed the English language, and it was just a play of words for her. She could tap into the subtlety of events and happenings around her and capture it in words. The beauty of her being a literary person was that writing wasn't something private for her. She enjoyed sharing her work with everyone. Pranali participated actively in the iGenius Young Authors Hunt. She won many awards and scholarships here. Her work has been published in noteworthy magazines like Estrade, Just Read and Navni. My esteemed guests, it is an honour for me and my friends here to present before you some of the poems by our very dear friend Pranali. She wrote this poem when she was just 11 years old. At the tender age of 11, we were busy deciding which Pokemon is the best, while she was busy penning down her words into poems. This poem is a mixture of childish humor and the value of friendship. It is titled, Friends. I have many friends, all with different trends. Some like to do fun things, and some want to fly high with wings. Some like sleepovers, and some like to use lawnmowers. The different people I know, big or small, standards high or low, have made a change in me. To success, I now have the key without paying the fee. Friends have been good and bad, and I choose them with the help of my mom and dad. Some of my friends have taken care of me throughout the years, giving me smiles and sharing my fears. When I'm good, they, they give me cheers and also help me overcome my fears. I just love them very much. No one, Thank I'm you. sure, has friends such. What a lovely poem for her friends, who always held a special place in her heart. But then, so did teachers. Our next poem is a poem she wrote in eighth grade for a teacher who she loved on her birthday. It is titled, Dear Teacher. Has teachers Come and go. Some stay in the mind. Some just leave. Some are excellent at teaching. Some just want to be with. We have had some favorites where some of them give us shivers. Some can read the students' mind. And some are not bothered. We butter all of them, hoping for one period of games. Sometimes it works. But when it doesn't, we hate them more than ever. But you, you are an exception. Buttery never works with you. You can read our minds without them. You are more than fun to be with. We can't get angry with you without first getting mad at ourselves. And we cannot forgive ourselves if we ever make you mad at us. We apologize today for all those times and thank you for all the others. Ever in your debt, we will stay. For it was you who taught us, more than English or science, you taught us values and virtues, showed us the path of success, made us good enough to be who we are today. We take this chance once a year to give you all the happiness, to make up for our mistakes by wishing you a wonderful day. A delightful poem, this one shows Pranali's perky nature and her immense love for her teacher. Yes, you'll always find her very dynamic and full of life. She used to relish the time spent in her balcony at home, observing everything, small and big. Here are two poems she wrote at such a time. The first one is a short poem called Birds. Birds, the lovely birds, they fly as if in herds. When they are young, they try, and at last, they fly. The house they build, known as nest, is though a little till, is the best. They carry many things in their tiny wings for their cutie tricks. They live on trees and very free. Up in the sky, they fly very high. 
The next poem is called Nature. Our nature has so many amazing things. It's about her beauty that the birds sing. Wow, those colorful flowers and there go the butterflies. On the top of the huge trees is where the squirrels sit with delight and see the beautiful spring, much more beautiful than a diamond ring. There's the path of grass with its curves and bends and this is not where it ends. Nature has many things that she hides above the swings and below the slides. Look at the animals playing hide and seek and once in a while coming out to pee. Hear the birds twitter and chirp in the morning as we get our tea to slurp. In nature, there are always so many things to see. Those things that always delight me. The best thing to do when you are bored is not to go for a drive in a Ford. It is to sit in nature's lap and to her beauty, I raise my hands to clap. To protect her is our duty, so is to admire her beauty. Wow, that is something that takes you amidst the cool and green, right? But ladies and gentlemen, Pranali was not just fascinated by nature or trees and flowers. She was an equally practical person and was marveled at almost everything, as the next poem, titled Science, tells us. Science is the base of everything. It has been since a long time, even when India was ruled by the Mughal kings. Science helps us to find reasons behind various phenomena and seasons. We live in a world of technology and it all began from science and its many branches, physics, chemistry and biology. It is the base of many an invention. To give an example, we have microwaves run by convention. Oh, how fascinating and interesting is this world of science. Now the next poem that we are going to recite for shows her off for money. Now this poem, it's titled Money, it shows a child's perception to the true value of money. And yet, with a mature mindset, she draws a balance between being too miserly and being spent it. Money. Money, money, it makes life funny. People think without it, life can't run. And when it's there, you have fun. Is this true that life needs money as much as, much as bread? And without it, you'll suffer a painful death? When people lose money, they act as if they'll die. And even if, even if they lose a rupee, they'll sit and cry. Money, money, it makes life fun. Different type of currencies is there. For them, we take the utmost care. The rich ones are big, brave and strong. For shopping, rich always visit a mall. The poor ones are just see them running, wonder, running, wondering what's wrong. Money, money, it makes life fun. Now greed has overcome all our needs. No one now uses money to do kind deeds. Misers never use their money in a kind way or to make their house sunny. Affluent classes use it to waste, thinking now and then only of their taste. Money, money, it makes life funny. I believe that money should be there only for your needs, adequate enough to feed your kids. We should try to utilize it in the best possible way without becoming a miser or spendthrift shopping all day. One wouldn't find a specific structure in Pranali's poems. She was a free bird, full of spontaneity. Her poems engulfed various moods, as the next two poems suggest. The title of the poem is Makar Sankranti, a cheerful poem. Today I looked in the sky, till the sun had set, and it was night. The whole day long, ever so high, were the colorful kites. Red, yellow, green and blue, making a kind of crew. Together as they flew, wow, what a beautiful view. People from India and afar glance at the sky and see. Kites are there instead of stars because it is Makar Sankranti. And the next one, soothing nights with a more somber tone. Days do tire me. Nights do nurture me, but I must not complain. It is necessary for me. 
Then I wake up, I say, today I'll do better. At night, it is always a question, did I get any stronger? During day, I work. At night, I rest. I tell myself, this is for the best. Days to abuse me, nights to console me. But I must not complain, it is necessary for me. The day brings me out to the world. The night hides me in its covers. Bear it all I should, it is all for my own good. Days do weaken me, nights do strengthen me. But I mustn't complain, it is necessary for me. An amazing poem that speaks of challenge as well as hope. Well, it sounds to me as if it's written by Robert Frost. I agree. The poem we are going to recite next won Pranali the Young Writers Creativity Award 2010 by Remus House Woodston in UK. This poem was selected by the British Library for publication among 65,000 entries from all over the world. It was chosen based on exceptional perception, imagination, expression, and good use of language as quoted by the organization. The book containing this poem is placed in all of the British Library outlets across the United Kingdom and the Republic of Ireland. It is titled, Which Poem Should I Write? Which poem should I write? A dull one or the one that is bright? Which poem should I write? Which one would look nice? The one on a cat or the one on mice? Should I write the one on cricket? In which India lost many wickets? Which poem should I write? And here I sit, trying to knit, just thinking about which poem should I write. A wonderful poem that was. However, Pranali was a master at storytelling also. Her story about four friends, Deepa, Arika, Ankit and Katie, titled The Secret Storybook, was published by Partridge Publication in 2013. It is a story on how these four friends escape into the world of a storybook. I'll now be reading an excerpt from this book from the chapter named A Vacation Starts. The hi it highlights the beauty with which Pranali captured the Diwali tradition. There was a lot of rush at all the shops. Saris and salwar kameez were being bought in hundreds at all the garment shops. The girls brought many new dresses, some with sparkles and glitters and all brightly, vividly colored, while their mothers bought themselves each a pair of new saris. It is all so beautiful, they exclaimed. Arika and Katie were delighted by the multicolored layers of dresses and decorations and food items. The women shopped for the likes of decorations like Tora or the leaf garland which was auspiciously hung in the doorway of the houses. Arika insisted upon buying a lantern to light up the drawing room and Vinita did not disappoint her daughter. Many people also shopped for snacks and sweets, but Arika and Katie's mother, being housewives, prepared all the delicacies at their home. That was indeed a very beautiful description. Dear guests, Pranali achieved great feats in a very short period of time. She penned most of her masterpieces between the ages of 11 to 13 years. Then came that fateful year when she turned 14. The poem that we present now, her magnum opus, is a poem she posted on a Facebook timeline just a month before she breathed her last, and it did not have a title. I look down at everyone's faces. They all are there, staring up at me. Most are all just singing praises, though I'm not sure I deserve it. But yes, I feel proud too. My heart is not fluttering, as I thought it would. I feel I've been ready for ages. Most of them have tears in their eyes, but some smile at me. Go on. But before I turn towards the skies, onto this roller coaster ride, I'll try to enjoy this ride. I shout down to them silently. I have him just by my side. He'll hold my hand and never leave it. Trust him, if not me. Trust all those who made this right safe for me. We hold hands and I ascend the right. All of us were completely dumbfounded at this message from her 
we all knew that she was deeply into Lord Krishna uh, around this time and used to discuss the Bhagavad Gita with her nani towards the dusk phase. But who would have ever thought that she actually pictured her last ride? This was the brilliance of Pranali. She could easily give shape to her thoughts through words and bravely share them with everyone. She was a true poet, one who can construct the ineffable. A poet pens down what we can just feel, and that's just who Pranali was. But in the end, life is like a journey you had during your vacations. It does not matter how long it is, whether just three days or an entire month, but it's about how much you enjoy during that journey. Kyuki Zindagi ek safar hai suhana Yaha kal kya ho kiske jana Thank you ladies and gentlemen. We hope you had a wonderful time. Thank you Jumana ma'am and the entire team of Gujarat Literature Festival for providing us with the, with the opportunity to present our friend and poet's works. I would also like to thank our principal ma'am and the management who encouraged us to be here today. Thank you all once again. We now open the dais to any questions you all might have. Thank you all once again. Thank you very much. Ahan, Heer, and Prachi. What should I say about Pranali? I would like to say one thing here that she herself was a poem who is going to live and whisper beautiful words in our hearts forever. Pranali's parents are here. So I would like to ask Dr. Bhatt and Mrs. Bhatt, would you like, would, would you like to share something about her? A little bit. Hello everyone, uh, these people have uh, drafted the thing very well but uh, I have one thing to say that uh, it is very brave. I feel that uh, the child was very brave to accept things in the face and uh, poem, writing poems, writing stories uh, that is done by uh, God, it is not uh, we who uh, write poems or write stories, but uh, carrying through the whole thing and uh, the last poem, as they said, uh, knowing everything that now it is my time to leave and still braving it all. The last month was very hard, also, and for us also, but braving it all, and uh, uh, that's nice of a person. Uh, she gave us so much. Uh, as they say that uh, just a glimpse of her, the life of her, gives us, gives me so much uh, happiness that uh, uh, children can be so, so, I should say, so nice that they can give us so much love. Thank you, ma'am. And. Gujarati festival is Gujarati. Then it is a child. And a put a bowl of you, but she was infectious. Come with up on Lako. Okay, I'm a Pranari Foundation and I'm a competition. Chaluka is a child, such a cover, the Kiji book, Jaldi published the manager. And especially Pranari in a Sachi Sadanji, yes, to be ja, the child, Eva, Lekako, Pedatai, Pachi Lakaja, he is a Kaja, Ohandi Lakaja. लखवानों चालू एक जो 
श्रद्धांजलि इंस्पायर करे लखे खरेखर आई थिंक के आ पोइट्री सांभ्या पी जो मैंने एम थे कि मैं लखव जो है तो यंग किड्स ने तो इंस्पीरेशन चौक्स थी मैसे ओके श्योर यू आ ओके सो ध्रुवी फ्रॉम अतुल विद्यालय वोट्स टू से समथिंग Good afternoon, everyone. This is Dhruvi Atul Vidyalaya, and uh, first of all, uh, I don't know uh, who Pranali is, but while listening to her poems, I truly felt that she is a really very okay. great writer. And I myself, being a writer, uh, like I, I felt what she wrote, and uh, it was a really great experience while listening to her poems. And uh, this is what all writers are; they become immortal for everyone uh, till the literature exists. So. I request all of you to give a big round of applause for that girl. First of all, and uh, today I'm here with uh, my Atul Vidyalaya Rising Writers Club, and uh, it is also an innovative initiative by the young kids to form a club and start the re reading and writing practices, and uh, like. Uh, we all aim at creating a writing revolution among kids because nowadays, like they are totally influenced by gadgets and keyboards. So, uh, this is what my aim is that kids should be, uh, they should be having the habit of reading and writing, and they should uh, unleash their hidden potential. So now, uh, uh, I would request the uh, the club members to please come up and uh, like I would like to share that. Uh, they have launched about 5 to 6 uh, books this year and uh, uh, like they all are writers and they have penned down their thoughts in a very beautiful way uh, in the in these books so so the session for the uh, atul vidyalaya uh, will be uh, the next so uh, just wait for few minutes before we wind up the uh, the session uh, for pranali so the love that spreads is true love now her writing is spreading like we can see this the kids from other schools are also getting inspired by her i would like to thank zaida school of excellence principal sana ma'am and uh, pranali's parents to come over here and share the beauty of words with us and that is pranali thank you very much thank you very much for being present at gujarat literature festival 2016 fourth edition thank you there are other sessions also at other venues which are very interesting Uh, so if you don't have the paper and the schedule with you and if you have android application you can download glf application and you can check and schedule the sessions and mark favorites uh, for whatever sessions you want to attend and um, instead of using the paper use the application it's really cool and you can save the paper also now we are going cashless so we can go digital also we can go paperless also so i would request the kids also to go digital and also um, uh, not use papers much because it will uh, like you know then we can we can also promote swachh bharat with that because you won't be throwing papers here and there you have the application so use it well thank you thank you very much हेलो हाय गाइस केम छो बता नहीं मजा हो नहीं मजा पड़ी रही केम छो बता ये किड्स तो यार कितियो जोर जोर थी उछरे क्यों दे तुम्हारे वड़ा पांव खाओ छे ढीबरा न थाणो चुंदो काई नहीं 
इंटरेस्टिंग से सतीबडी प्रभुतरीबूल थोड़ी क्षणों में बेसी शके इन फ्यू मिनट्स इट विल गोइंग टू बी स्टार्टेड राइट दस एज मिनट में साईराम भाई यहीं आ शे पर इस जने जने ए ए सेशन में मां इंटरेक्शन कर रहूं हूं शे सो ये लोगों ने बहुत मजा पढ़वानी चाहे सो बी सिटेड एंड वेट फॉर अ ग्रेट फाइन इन सम टाइम थैंक यू ऑल वेरी मच